So today it's uh, Friday, uh, March 9th, and uh, it's about quarter to 11 in the morning, and I noticed it just started snowing about 15 minutes ago. And on this snowy Friday, I think this calls for a scenic route. Normally, uh, uh, today is the uh, today to get to the interfaith uh, lunch program at. Uh, you have to go all the way to Kingston Road and Scarborough Road, which is about uh, it's just past Silver Birch actually, except way up on Kingston Road on top of the hill. Normally, I would take uh, Dundas Street and uh, just head uh, over to Kingston and then straight up the hill and. Uh, and there it is. But today, with all this snow and such, I thought, and it's Friday and I'm tired. Something I ate, I'm not sure. Uh, I thought I'd take a more scenic route. Uh, I punched in the Silver Birch address yesterday, and Google Maps came back with a cycling route, which I'll show you right now. I'm here, and, uh, goes down to the Martin Goodman Trail south of uh, the Lakeshore Boulevard and through Ashbridge's Bay Park and all the way across and apparently it connects to Silver Birch. I did not know that. But there you go. So straight up Silver Birch all the way to the top uh, Kingston Road. You know, often I've taken Queen across here. And then you take uh, this street here. Let's see if I can get it done little bit closer, move it in here a little bit. So up the hill, this is a really high hill, it's like a, almost a 35 degree hill. Pine Ave over to Scarborough Road and there's the church right there, believe it or not. Here's the uh, suggested route from uh, cycling to uh, nine, 979 Kingston Road, which is that church. And uh, I'll see if I can find it quickly in my interfaith uh, maps. Friday lunch, there it is. Failed to put the name of the church in. But there's, there's what we're going to be seeing in about half an hour. Up the ramp here. Take a little jog around to the side door, and and there's a hall. Uh, you go back through that hallway, down the hallway, continuing down, and to the left, there's a little hall there. That seats about 60 people, maybe 50, and it's usually packed, and the lunches are great. So we're going we're gonna to take the, the scenic route today along the bottom, and, uh, and that should be great. Uh, I'm tired today, and I think I'm not up for the adventure of... Uh, of uh, Queen Street uh, or you know Kingston Road, which is a uh, pretty deadly route actually. So we're gonna take this one and extend it up. Way there and then extend it up to Kingston Road. Head up to Kingston Road there. This is new on these mapping adventures. I uh, I haven't uh, mapped a route before. I've left before. I usually left that till after while I was waiting for the upload. So there it is. That is where we're going and. Uh, 
so very cool. And now uh, we'll be back on the bike for take two of today's today's ride shortly. Well, uh, I'm back after uh, my little mapping uh, edit there, and uh, the snow has stopped and the sun has come out. It's uh, a sea change in the weather. So, uh, still going to take the uh, the bottom route along the Martin Goodman Trail, uh, now known as uh, WaterfrontTrail.org. Uh, a little wet, so I've got the Peter Tobbins recycled political uh, lawn sign from the last election fender. And uh, I'm bringing a little Tupperware because uh, the Friday lunch guys always have way too many sweets to take home with you. And I got a sweet tooth. Really bad for me. It puts me in a in a sugar high, which leads to a, a, a what do they call that uh, when you go into the sub hypoglycemia, and that can lead to depression, and uh, usually does. So, anyways, here we go. We're gonna go along the Martin Goodman to Silver Birch up to Plain Plain Ave. Pine Ave, over to Scarborough Road, and up to Kingston Road. I hope, I sincerely hope we're running. different route out of my house today, a little more scenic, the alley system that runs in behind here. Which is just gorgeous, it's like having a park behind your house, everybody's backyards. If we used public transit more and people didn't have so many garages, alleys and we could turn all these spaces between the houses, the backs of the houses, into parks for our kids to play in. And our uh, grandparents and grand, you know, relatives could take care of our kids in a social space between the houses. I had a dream once about that. So today, uh, the, the Google map says take Leslie. I say Leslie's dangerous. I'm gonna take uh, that street right there. It's one of them that you can take. There's another one to the jog to the left over here. On this guy just had to get in front of me to make his turn. Eh? down to Eastern Avenue. Oh, it's a beautiful day. It's minus two or something with the wind minus five. It feels like minus five. I don't know what but the wind. Maybe we've got a five click wind as well coming from the south see once we get by these buildings what's actually going on there forgot to check the wind I don't think it's a factor today so we're coming up on Eastern here this is film studios I actually worked in this building once Movies. So we got a bike lane on Eastern. I'm not taking it over to Leslie. 
where it ends properly just before you get to Leslie. Instead, I'm taking my little route up into the Price Choppers parking lot. I think Price Choppers maybe should donate part of their parking lot here if they own it or whoever owns it. Make a bike lane here right through between those buildings out to the Lower Don Rick Trail. But that ain't there right now, so here we are. We're going to take the parking lot. Parking lots are dangerous. And then up onto the walkway here, which takes us out to the Don Rick Trail. And here's the Lower Don Recreation Trail. Here's the end of the, uh, the old uh, Gardner Expressway. Actually, it used to go on quite a bit, I think, right over to Woodbine, where it turned up. So here we are at Leslie. Gonna take the cyclist signal and colored pavement here if we don't get run over by cars who don't see what I'm doing. We're taking the bicycle signal gray concrete. You see we have somebody parked on our bike lane. policeman there. I'm not going to risk getting a ticket even though I'm single to be on here. So I'm off my bike. And that's quite a wind coming from the west. Almost got run over by that guy. He's parking in my, in my lane. And then I got right away there, I guess. Started to go and he was already there. Not paying attention. Walked defensively, as they say. So, Martin Goodman Trail. Just north of the new Asperges Bay. Maintenance and storage facilities for the LRT. The new, longer, quieter, more efficient Mayor Miller fleet that we're taking even though Mr. Uh, Mayor Ford doesn't want them, wants to build subways. He's going to sell these things to somewhere else or something. Anyways, enough of that. It's going to be boring unless I talk transportation politics all the time. Because this is like a, a commute way. This is a great way to get across the bottom of the city. There was one at Bloor and one at, at College Gerard. Like this, I, I guess we'd all just have to go. But there is not. And it would take massive spending and commitment to make those things happen. I think we got a 40 foot wind behind us. Well, it seems to be coming sideways at this point bouncing off the Canada Post plant here. So a south westerly. Now we're getting the, the full benefit. Whistling along here. Used to play baseball in the Coxwell Treatment Facility Park here. changed uh, one of the big diamonds into a skateboard park. Here we are at Ashbridge's Bay. There's the treatment plant proper. There's the skateboard park. Used to be a really nice diamond. I think there's still a diamond on the north side. 
just up uh, just up Coxwell here a bit. Let's see if I can see it. I don't think I see it. The Jays haven't won the series since 1993, so nobody cares about baseball anymore. So here we are going into following the waterfront trail, Martin Goodman Trail into uh, Ashbridge's Bay Park. This gorgeous park here with its uh, world-class volleyball and the white sand. Huge long beach. Reminds me of Cuba with its white sand beaches. Reminds me of Vancouver. March yourself. What a beautiful day. In the summertime when the, this park is full of Tontonians. This is not a bike trail anymore, it's a walking trail for people. There's too much pedestrian traffic to make it a, a biking trail. You have to get off and walk basically. little bit of an expansion on the little bar here. Now it's turning into a fucking two-story goddamn palladium. I don't know about that. So here it is. Not white sand, is it? It's gray sand. But look at how big it is. The volleyball over here. And look at this beach, eh? We are coming up to Woodbine. Bottom of Woodbine here. The heel of Woodbine. It goes by this beautiful 70s construction. This outdoor pool, Olympic sized pool here, which is actually up in the air. The water is actually above the ground. Look at this thing. The water is sitting up above the ground there, right behind those walls. And it's full. Interesting design. 70s design all the way, eh? Beautiful. Oh, I didn't know there's a police station there. Look at that. Makes sense. So, here we are off past the The next major is we're going to connect to, I guess, would be uh, Vic Park. But before that, we're going to run into some way to get up and over to Silver Birch. Look at this beautiful day. Zero, I'd say, is the temperature. a little peninsula there of some sort. Make some habitats happen for this and that. Very enlightened uh, parks and rec program we have in Toronto. Replanting old uh, natural, naturally occurring plant life and uh, these, uh, these lowland uh, growth areas almost swamps in some cases actually purify the water, the runoff that goes back into the lake and they're doing it all around all the streams which is meaning that uh, we're pumping a lot less a lot less poison from from the industrial uh, you know, from the, the runoff off of a city is pretty pretty disgusting especially from the 
car exhaust and such dripping onto the pavement. Most of that goes into the sewer and straight up to the lake. It's also uh, got off off of people's asphalt roofs and we've tried to get people to this might be silver birth right here. In fact, I just might go check that out. I that might be Silver Birch. I've never run down this far before. You might have been able to guess. Q Beach. Oh, we got a ways to go yet. We're still in the heart of the beaches neighborhood. In yesterday's ride, uh, I was right up there on Queen, right in the heart of the traffic. So just a couple hundred yards to the south is this great commute way. Now apparently by the Google map, I've got to take a left here. I think that's it right there. Uh, I'm going to keep going. I want to stay on this path as long as I can. stores up there. We're not even past the Fox Theater yet. Look at this beautiful, this beautiful infrastructure we have. That's the bottom of Main Street. on your face. Hiya. Hiya, wolf. Yeah, almost flat up to clean here. Might be worthwhile. Silverbirds is a bit of a climb and then up to Queen, a bit of a climb up to Queen, and then the 35 degree hill I talked to you about before we left the house. streets in the in Scarborough, South Scarborough that well. <clears throat> but this kind of looks like the Ziggy Zaggy that Google Maps was showing us. This might be the bottom of Silver Birch right here. Oh, I thought we were looking for, uh, yeah it is. I've done the bottom of this street before. I think. It's not. See what street it is. I think this is Willow. For Willow Ave. That cat having fun. Fernwood. Cool. Not a very happy person. You have all the money in the world, beautiful beach to walk on, and a nice dog, and scowling all the time. How is that? How's that work? beech tree. I know. I don't know where I am now. I'm gonna have to do this again and uh, so uh, oh, here we are at Willow. So one more over is Silver Birch. But this is, uh, this is the way. Look at how 
how flat it is. So I'm going to take Willow north to Queen. Happy people. Yay! Carpenters, I guess. Wait, look at that hill, eh? That's got to be 30 degrees at least. So here we are, Silver Birch. Passing the Thursday lunch at St. Aidan's. I'm gonna take a left north up Silver Birch. It's a shorter hill, but it's steeper. I've got the kind of muscles that likes these these mountain type hills. Hey, I haven't done this one this year yet. I don't think I'm gonna, I'm gonna walk it. I'm opening up my two of my five layers. I'm in my Don't take the road, they don't give it to you. I'm gonna give it a run, see if we can get up this hill with my old heart. Oh, here comes the wind off the hill, too. Yikes! I'm off my bike. I guess your cardiovascular up there. Back on the bike. There's the high map. I'm gonna take a jog over to Scarborough Road and up to Kingston. Oh. Ah. Oh, I 
guess the endorphins going. Heart rate way up. Bottom of the lungs. Seeing work. I haven't seen in a, you know, probably a month since I got the lungs going that deep. Not good. I gotta do that more often. Especially since I smoke cigarettes. You gotta know, bounce that off with some pretty hefty duty cardiovascular. snow again. Yeah. Snow's coming in again. So I got a window here that I took advantage of. I guess this fellow behind me is going to wait till the road narrows and this guy comes down and you know, honk at me or something. Pedals. And there we are. Oh, there's an obvious, an obvious thing. It's called Kingston Road United Church. I knew that. So I'll take you in so you know the way in. Here comes the snow. I'll get my dessert Tupperware brand name plastic container my sister gave me actually you get these and take out chicken lunches you know that's how much they're subsidized you can just give them away it's chicken dinner the cost of the economy is incredible this guy left his bike in the big end of his bike in the wind so I'll move it for him so it doesn't fall down again You take the jog, don't take that door. Take this door. Take this door here. Come on the side here. It's got feng shui that way, you see? Probably a little less air. 
just started snowing again. And here's lunch. Ah. Uh, I'd be 